Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make homemade yogurt. It's really easy to make yogurt at home and so much healthier than most store-bought options that are full of added sugars and stabilizers and other unnecessary ingredients. Uh, the other great thing about making a big batch like I'm gonna show you today is that you've got seven servings of yogurt teed up for breakfast for the entire week. So let's dive in. There are a ton of different ways to make yogurt at home, but today I'll show you how I do it. And that starts with pouring my milk into a large glass bowl. I use an eight cup measuring bowl as it's the easiest to measure, heat, and then eventually pour into the yogurt maker. For the yogurt maker I use, I need about 42 ounces of milk, and of course I always use organic. Heat the milk in the microwave until the temperature reaches 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Because I make yogurt pretty frequently, I know that in my microwave this takes about 12 minutes. Once it's done, use an instant read thermometer just to double check the temperature. You may notice a little skin forming on the top of the milk and that's fine, we'll just scoop that off later. After your milk is heated, you need to cool it back down to about 112 to 115 degrees Fahrenheit. You can either leave it on the counter to cool or you can speed up the process by placing it in an ice water bath. Once it's at the perfect temperature, now is the time to skim off any skin that's formed. After you do that, pour approximately one cup of milk into another glass. Sprinkle your yogurt starter into this glass and give it a good stir to make sure it's all combined. If you're using yogurt from a previously made batch as your starter, just stir that in instead. Then pour the small glass of milk back into the large bowl and stir it all together. Now here's where the large measuring bowl comes in handy as it's super easy to pour the milk into the individual jars. When they're all filled up, set the timer for about seven to nine hours. The longer you let your yogurt set, the more firm and tangy it will become. When the yogurt's done, remove the jars and screw on the lids. One of the cool things about this yogurt maker is that the lids have adjustable dates, so you'll always remember when you made a specific batch. And that's it, you just made yogurt. The yogurt is firm at this stage, but it's warm, so place it in the fridge for a couple of hours to cool down. After it's cooled, you can eat it plain, add it to your morning smoothie, or enjoy it with some fresh fruit and granola, which is what I'm gonna do. If you want the recipe for this delicious chai spiced granola, which is both gluten-free and grain-free, I'll place the link below. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss next week's video.